Okay, this is the little table that we made to uh, get the Dobsonian up out of the moisture. As you can see, there's ice and and uh, snow and stuff here. And uh, if you put that battery pack on the front of your uh, base, you can use the handle on here to uh, cart this around. But it's about 8 inches high. And now with it sitting on there, I'll show you that... Uh, the height is just perfect for viewing for somebody my height. Um, and then just uh, center it and then make pen pencil marks and take a drill and just drill these small little holes down in about, oh, you know, eighth of an inch or so so that the legs don't scoot around. And then you can paint it or whatever for weather. But uh, the legs should be cut with a nice big V like that so that... Uh, they go down into the ground but stop going into the ground you know if you put a straight leg up and down make a little table with straight legs they'll just keep going down into the dirt this will stop them and uh, you can get right on there and jounce it right in really nice and tight and now your other base doesn't have to on those ones with the three little legs that screw into the bottom they uh, they like to touch the ground in the center and kind of get wobbly so this takes that completely away yeah just put the base on here get one in the hole and as you slide it around they both the other two just slap in and it's in it isn't going to go anywhere that really helps secure it so when you're when you're building it you know you might want to cut the corners off on that um, so they're not in your way I'll probably do that before I paint it. But just center the circle and then mark your legs and drill your holes and you'll be up and running. On the last video I showed that, that uh, little wedge over in the side. I'll show you how nice that makes it. A lot of times it likes to scoot that way just a little so this doesn't start and it just lines right up with the threads every time now. That little bit of difference it does make it make it nice. All right, this will show you exactly how if you're looking almost straight up, or if you are looking straight up, it's very comfortable to view. There's not a whole lot of bending over. It makes a lot of difference. And uh, if you're viewing something closer to the horizon and you had a bar low in, if you had it too high, this this really sticks up a long ways. But it's very comfortable. So I would really recommend to make a table. That way you're not getting the Dachshonian down in, uh, in moisture. This is the Dynamo battery pack sitting in its, little, uh, in its little carrier now, which is extremely slick. Um, just put a couple supports on here. You don't have to put one on this side because the light itself sits behind this piece of wood so it doesn't slide. It, and it holds it very nice. I'm going to make another video on uh, collimation. Uh, I watched a guy that was telling the art of collimating in, in some fine details. You can do it in steps one, two, three, and make little mistakes that you don't even know you're making. And he made some really good points, and I tried some of those, and they really improved the scope. Uh, I was uh, seeing Mars just fine, but I didn't couldn't see really any other detail. And uh, by looking at the steps that he provided. Um, it really made a difference. So uh, look for that. The only reason I'm going to put it out there is hoping more people will find it. And uh, if they don't see his, hopefully they'll see mine. And I've got just a little twist on it also. And uh, that's about it. Clear skies.